This is a padlock. A padlock is like any kind of a law that is on the books. The padlock only keeps honest people honest. It doesn't stop a criminal. Laws are only paper. They only are in place to help after the commission of a, <laughs> of a, a crime. That's what they are for. They protect no one until after the fact. And still, they're not protecting you. You're only making a criminal out of somebody who wasn't a criminal beforehand. We have a bunch of firearm laws coming up, you know, in the House and the Senate. These people got to start and think. All the laws that you passed before, they didn't work. And now you want to pile more on top of more on top of more, and it won't justify anything that you do. You're just going to make honest people into a criminal. That's all you're going to do. Everybody's out there minding their own business, and there's always a bad uh, a group of people. <laughs> but there's enough laws on the books. I'll tell you how how bad things are and you need you people need to think about something if these people who are passing these laws are so great and only have your uh, uh, life and your your kids and your well-being uh, on their mind why would these people go to such mischief mischief mind you to throw in a propaganda law into the National Defense Authorization Act back in 2012. Why did they stick that propaganda law in there that they did, we do not need? They're up to mischief. They want control. Laws are control. They want control over you. They want you under their thumbnail. It's not the land of uh, freedom anymore. They're, tur they're turning this country into the model of a communist country, communist state, a police state. You got surveillance cameras everywhere. You got laws everywhere. They're always checking your bank account. You can't do this. You can't do that. That's not America. That's not what my father and all the, all the forefathers fought for. They're turning this into a police state. And you better get on the phone. You call your, your representatives. You call your senators. You tell them, no more laws. We don't need mental health laws. There's already stuff on books, like I said. Stop these people in their tracks before this gets any further. They want control. Laws are control. Congress does not have the power to pass firearm laws. There's no place in the Constitution that gives them that authority. They only have certain uh, powers under the Constitution. They're, they're, they are listed as the enumerated powers granted to Congress. Gun laws, firearm laws, are not in there. They are constitutionally barred. Remember this. They are constitutionally barred from infringing upon your rights. If you look at the, at the Bill of Rights, your Second Amendment, the people have, have the right to keep and bear arms and it shall not be infringed. That constitutionally bars Congress from infringing upon your rights. They don't have, they're not worried about society, or they're not worried about saving a life. That's crap. It's called control. These people went to co communist uh, colleges. They got all this stuff uh, crammed into their little brain. Oh, I can be somebody in life. You're being used. We're not going to tolerate any more firearm laws. I mean, we've already got enough on the books. It needs to be expunged. There's uh, Democrats and Republicans who are pushing this stuff. need to be expunged. They are foreign to American way of life and to our Constitution. You better wise up to that fact right now because that's what's going on. Like I said, if they, if they, if they weren't up to mischief, why would they stick a propaganda law into the National uh, Defense Authorization Act? 
Oh, yeah. They love you. Okay, people. Like I said, this padlock is like laws. It only keeps honest people honest. It won't stop a criminal. And no law out there is going to stop a criminal. Thanks for watching.